was love day, Wade went to Olivia's place. I'm sorry, Liv. I wish we could spend love day together. But I'm gonna rampage and I don't know if I'm gonna control it or not. I know, babe. I wish we did. But I'll be here, watching rom-com by myself. I'm so sorry, darling. I hope Lou and Babs have fun tonight. <laughs> I hope he doesn't do anything stupid. Oh, me too. Babs is nice. Before I go home, I have something for you. I made you this. I hope you like it. Wade, you didn't need to give me anything. Let me see it. Oh, I'm feeling sad I didn't bought you anything. She saw the gift. It was to swans carved in a wood piece. It's so pretty. Thank you, Wade. I'm glad you like it. I was afraid you wouldn't. Nonsense. I like everything you do. You're a sweetheart. Suddenly, Wade felt something. It was painful. It was a warning. He needs to get out of there quickly. Lou decided to take Babs to the local bar. I'm glad you accepted to go out with me. You're stunning, Babs. Thank you, Lou. Lou attempted some small talk, but Babs thinks he's boring. Shit, shit, shit. What should I do? This chick is hard to talk to. Okay, I'll try one more thing, and if she doesn't like, I'm gonna leave. So, when I was little, I was playing with my dad's tools and by accident, I hit a nail on my dick. Now I'm dickless, that's why I asked Olivia to help me out. It's hard to find someone who'll accept me. Oh, Lou, that's terrible. <laughs> Lou, what the fuck? I can't believe you bought it. <laughs> I actually have a perfect dick, you know. Damn, Lou, you got me. <laughs> Why did you do that? You weren't having fun, at least now I got a smile from you. Didn't I? Maybe. Lou ordered drinks for them. They drank and talked for a while. Then Lou asked her to go dance with him. Lou couldn't stop looking at Babs's body. He was having unholy thoughts, wondering if he would get laid that night. Look. I'll go straight to the point with you, Babs. I don't date. I usually like casual encounters. Basically, I'm asking if you want to have sex with me. Lou and Babs aren't compatible when they're chatting. But this, she wanted from him. She thinks Lou is sexy. On the way to the bunker, Lou stopped and grabbed a rose. Since rose is the most iconic symbol for love, and it's love day, and your name is Lamor, I think I should give it to you. Thank you, Lou. You're romantic. I didn't know you knew French. I don't, but I tried to learn the word love in every language I could remember. When they got inside the bunker, Lou and Babs didn't waste time. I heard you're a werewolf. Will you show me how a beast behave in bed, Lou? I certainly will. They are incapable to talk to each other but their compatibility in bed is beyond them. This was awesome, Babs. Thank you for tonight. Yeah, no problem. I should have dated a werewolf sooner. Well, you know where you can find me anytime you want, Babs. It was amazing for me too. I could marry you and never get tired of you. Same, Lou, same. It was 5 a.m. and Wade was returning back to normal. He soon needed to go to work, but he could only think about the picnic he wanted to go with Olivia. When he got back from work, he wanted to go for a jog. When he came back home, he saw that it was raining. Shit. He needs to think about something else to compensate for love day. He's gonna make her dinner. He just hope everything goes well. I'm sorry about the picnic. We can do it another time. That's okay, Wade. What matters is that we're here together. So, what you got for me, and I love you in a tie. You look hot. He covered her eyes and led her to his tiny kitchen. The table was set. It was simple. I hope you like it, babe. It's not fancy. But I tried to make it special. He uncovered her eyes and she gasped. So, what do you think? 
She turned to look him in the eyes. Say something. I'm getting nervous here. Wade, it's perfect. I really appreciate that you did this for me. Okay, good. I'm starving. Let's eat. <laughs> you are a goofy. I prepared the meal. I hope I didn't mess the recipe. Um, this is actually good. It's really tasty, Wade. <laughs> she thinks she'll never get tired of watching him, eating like a famished dog. Have you heard from Lou about his date with your friend? I have, but from her. Apparently he said something about marry her, but knowing Lou it was a joke, but she liked it. <laughs> I knew he would say something inappropriate. Can you imagine if they got married? It would be insane, but funny. I can't imagine Lou getting married. Damn, this wine is good. I can't either, but I see him with a bunch of kids, to be honest. I don't know how we haven't seen not a single mini Lou yet. You're right, and to be fair, he would be a great father. Me on the other hand, I don't want to have children. I can't imagine me with a baby. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, my child would be a werewolf. I don't know if I want that for them. Lou is a werewolf as well and you pictured him like a great father. Uh, yeah. Wait realized Olivia's tone and face changed. Did he say something wrong? You have that high chair over there. I thought you were keeping it for your future kids. Well, silly me, huh? What's happening right now, Liv? Isn't it obvious? I want a family, Wayne. I want to have kids. Not right now, of course, but someday. Come on, Liv. Let's be real. I can't do this. We have Gus. Maybe we could adopt another dog if you want. Well, I get it. I can't force you to have children. Liv, what do you mean by that? She drank the whole wine in one gulp. He didn't know what was happening right now. He just did the same as her. She got up. I need some air. Liv. Shit. She was upset. How their relationship is going to work, they have different goals in life. She forgot it was raining. Shit. <laughs> she heard the door and didn't want him to see her crying. She pretended to use his telescope. She doesn't have a clue how to use this. Liv, come on, let's go inside. It's raining. I'm fine, Wade. I like rain. He sighed. He's scared. Let's talk, Olivia. Don't shut down, please. Not right now, Wade. I'll be inside if you want to talk, okay? I was getting worried. Thinking you might leave without us talking about it. But I will, Wade. I need to think about this, alone. You should think about it too. Without me, I don't want to influence your decisions. Night, Wade. It was about time. Gus, I know I would screw this, eventually. I told you, I'm going to be alone forever. She's gonna dump me. At least I have you, Gus. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being my friend. Wade let out a somber howl. His friend joined him. 